Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for the general, the general reading for the collective. I'm going to get all 12 signs and then we'll get into the reading past, present, and future. See what is happening for the collective. Happy New Year, everybody. This is coming out on January 1st. So let's get all the, give me the, give me the collective's energy, please. Ooh, gosh. Okay, guys, you're manifesting something long-term and committed. Okay, give me the energy for Aries, please. You're dealing with an Aries. Aries has been unhappy for a long time. If you're dealing with a Taurus, there's an offer. Someone's holding back from an offer. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they are, um, a pre-empress relationship. So somebody wants this, a relationship with a pre-empress. If you're dealing with a cancer, there's a, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn from the past they're dealing with. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Empress is having a tower moment. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone's guarded and def it's almost like, hmm. I feel like Virgo, these two cards here, first of all, you have fight left in, to, in you, but you want to come back from the, the battle victoriously. I almost like you want to, you want to have a victory over defending something. So your victory is over defending something. If you're dealing with a Libra, Libra is, um, I feel like you're healing from some kind of attack. Somebody may have attacked you with a harsh truth. They may have, they're coming in hot. They came in hot and you need to recover. You need to heal. Or this may be you wishing to rush towards somebody with a harsh truth. If you're dealing with Scorpio, they're in a happy relationship. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're watching broken hearted somebody. They're watching somebody broken hearted. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're not talking about an ending. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're, they're bur the waiting is a waiting for something is a burden for them. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, they are th seeing things from a different perspective and moving on. They're closing out a cycle. Okay, you're manifesting something long-term and committed, guys. Let's see what's up. What happened in the past for the collective? What happened in the past for the collective? What happened in the past for the collective? Somebody is trying to move from rough waters to calm waters and have justice. They may have regretted the drama, the strife, the jealousy, the competition. They have some regret or remorse about that. They want to move on and they want justice. They have regrets about the, the drama, the drama that was caused and they want to heal and have a new beginning. They're manifesting their, their empress. They're manifesting an empress and they're overcoming obstacles to move forward. And the harsh truth is th th almost like this person's coming in quickly to tell you that you're their wish fulfillment, that they're manifesting their empress, that they're overcoming obstacles to move forward. It could be dealing with the king of wands. I feel like you're wanting to fight for a queen of cups, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like you're you're back and forth about what direction to go in so you're watching i laid this out differently than i usually do but we'll go into this just like this i feel like that you want to move towards a relationship you're very trapped in your head wanting justice 
somebody from the past th there could have been a lot of drama in the past and you're unhappy and 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 have regrets about that you're wishing you you're wishing but you're not saying you're not talking about that you wish for a new beginning you're not saying so you're not you're not saying that you want to reconcile but you are saying that you're hoping for a new passionate beginning you do want to rush towards somebody and transform something you're wishing for a victory you're manifesting a pre empress your manifestation is causing a tower moment because you're trying to rush towards your person you're kind of you're, you want to overcome obstacles of coming out of you want to overcome an obstacle of being left out in the cold right and you want to move forward but you keep looking back at the past i feel like you want to fight for this person but you're a little yeah you want to defend you want to protect right you see things differently now and you want something long-term and committed and you're being very strategic about getting it you're waiting you're waiting you're at a crossroads back and forth watching wanting to offer your cup wanting to offer your cup being very strategic as well you're matching each other's energy you're being very strategic about your happiness and you're trying to hold on to your ten of cups so you are definitely wanting to manifest something long-term and committed here so let's see what else we have that's the that's what that's what the basis of this is so i'm not going to do that um three times i'm just going to do a shorter version of that okay okay what's going on in the here and now what's going on in the here and now are you opening up yet yes there's there there's that communication about the burdens mastering your emotions still holding on i feel like you're You're trying to master your emotions by holding on to them but even if you had a strong emotions you're not going to show it okay you're you're not you're not showing it right i don't feel like you're showing anything so you're very happy to communicate right and it's almost like you're kind of defensive about the burdens you're still trying to master your emotions because this is your true match you know you you still want this queen of cups energy you want your your empress you want something long-term and committed so you got to close this cycle you can't hold back from closing a cycle you do have to end a cycle so if you're holding back from closing a cycle it's going to stop this from happening right let go of what doesn't serve you i feel like you're you're trying to balance out strong emotions I will tell you there will be an ending there will be the harsh truth is there's going to be an ending if you don't close out that cycle right because if you're trying to be strategic and and deceptive and deceptive with an option this pre-empress energy you want a victory but there it's going to you it's going to go away the victory is going to go away you have to close out that cycle and end any kind of options that you have. Don't hold on to something that you're going to block your own blessing if you're doing that. If you're trying to hold on to two people at the same time and thinking you're going to get away with it, you're not. You've got to let go of that. You have to let go of that. What's going on in the near future? I feel like you're trying to move towards something quickly. 
to work on it, but it's going to cause a tower moment in a new beginning in love. If there's betrayal and you uh, guys, we got to get out of that cake and eat it too. So maybe you traveled for work for a long time. Maybe this has to do with the fact that you worked out of town for a long time and, and all you did was communicate. You're very trapped in your head about working on a new beginning. You may have you may have had to travel for work for a long time and now you're trapped in your head about starting something new. You're you're doing some soul searching about this. You want some you want a queen of pentacles. You want to wife somebody up. You're manifesting, you're manifesting a wife. Maybe you've wanted to be with this person for a long time and have a new beginning in love, possibly with somebody from your past, but you need the strength to make a decision. You have to make a decision here, right? Um this new person's not going to put up with a betrayal. So you. Mm, okay. So I feel like, I feel like that you felt betrayed. You felt backstabbed and betrayed and you want to take that leap of faith away from the toxicity. Um, the queen of wands, king of wands energy that you had with somebody else. So if you're a king, and this is what you're doing to your new person. It could be either one of you. Take it out, resonates with you. But this was very toxic between the two of you. And somebody feels betrayed and took a leap of faith. Um, I feel like they took a leap of faith towards somebody who um, was toxic. They may be leaving that behind because there is no equal give and take. So somebody was breadcrumbed and blocked. And now they're trying to find some balance so that they can offer somebody else something and transform some, the harsh truth of, of them juggling. Transform it. They want to leave it behind. They weren't happy. They're not happy out in the cold. This person's not happy out in the cold and they want to speak a truth and they want this relationship. So and at the end of the day, they are manifesting some something long-term and committed. They're walking, they're walking away with a victory with the pre-empress, okay? They're walking away with a victory with this new person. Um, you could be dealing with a king of pentacles. So they have strong emotions about this relationship, having something long-term and committed. So this person's ready to commit, but they had to get away from the toxic. They had to make the decision to get away from something who was toxic and betraying them in order to go towards what they really want. So last thing I'm going to do for the new year, I'm going to pull you an Oracle card or two and see what we got. What do we have? There's a collective need to know. What's the collective need to know, please? Wow. Romantic feelings and their wish is happiness. They're wishing for happiness. Um, they're thinking of you. They're taking action. There's a confession that they're, they're single and they have broken up with whoever they were with. So I feel like this person is going to tell you the truth. They're going to be honest about this. They have romantic feelings for you and they're thinking about you. They want to take action. They want to come towards you. They're leaving some toxic stuff out in the cold. So very nice, guys. Hope that resonates with everybody. If it does, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a very happy new year.